the i3D Smart Imaging System, CBCT Image Capture. Steps will include navigation of the EasyDent Eye Imaging Software, navigation of the Smart Capture Software, positioning our patient for image capture, using the Image Capture button, and then saving our CBCT image itself. In this video tutorial, we're going to capture a 3D scan with the PaxEye Smart Imaging System itself. We'll begin with the EasyDent Eye software by doing a patient search there in the upper left hand corner. We'll type in the last name of our patient, click on the enter key on our keyboard. In this case here, the patient does not exist in the database yet. So we'll click on OK here to acknowledge that, and then click on the plus sign here to add our patient. From here, we can either use the automatic generated number here or add in a custom number. Down below, we can put in the last name of our patient. Click over here for first name, enter that information there as well, and then for gender, specify between male and female, and then for date of birth, hit the drop down here to do the month, drop down here, put in the date, and then drop down again for the year. Once we verify this information is correct, click on add here at the bottom, and then from here, we've now added this patient to our database. To capture the image, we'll then click on the acquisition tab. And then from here, navigate to the left-hand side and left-click on CT for doing our 3D scan. Again, it's a good habit here to verify that we're in the correct patient's chart. Verify that they have males selected as far as our exposure type. Then choose between hard, normal, and soft between body density types. And then in the upper right-hand side here, we have the ability to choose between two fields of view. Typically a 10 by 8 uh, and a half for doing an adult and 10 by 7 for doing adolescence. Once we've chosen our field of view, we then choose low dose or ultra low dose, which would be ideal for doing pediatrics. Otherwise, keep it under low dose. And then again, once you've verified that the information here is all correct, patient chart, your exposure settings here at the bottom, uh, field of view and image options here, click on confirm, put the device the in the caption is initializing. Please wait. You can look at the progress bar here to determine when it's safe to put the patient in there. But as a general rule, we will hold off putting the patient in there until you see the two red lights project on the patient there uh, and ready to position our patient. In this video tutorial, we're going to go through the setup and image capture doing a 3D scan with a PaxI Smart device. I've gone ahead and configured the capture software itself and now ready to position our patient here. So why don't you come on forward here. Lights are on, ready to position our patient here. So what I want you to do is this then. We're going to focus on where your hands are going to be, where your feet are going to be, and then where your mouth is going to be. So the first thing I want to identify here is the fact that we want to put your hands in the bar here, palm facing on the bottom here like that, up towards the ceiling like that. And you want your heels to line up with the right hand side of the column here. So if you would, go ahead and slide your feet forward to hit my feet. Perfect. Okay? Good. And then lastly here, let's adjust this here as far as the height a little bit. And put your chin on the chin up for me. And then bite down with your teeth in the groove there. Perfect. Okay, so what I want to do then from my image capture point of view is this. We have two lights we're using for positioning purposes. We have a mid-sagittal, like we have for 2D, and light will then go through two points here in the patient's face, in between the eyebrow, and the filter above the upper lip, and the Frankfurt light here. In this case here, for our scan protocol, we want the occlusal plane to be parallel to the floor. So to align that, we use the Frankfurt light going from the top of the tragus to the orbital rim. So I'll go ahead and bring the Frankfurt light down, and now it's at the top of the tragus over here, and now it's just at the tip of our nose here right now. So if I want to verify the occlusal pain is parallel to the floor, we'll have the patient go ahead and smile again for me, please, and I'm sure it's level going from side to side and level going from front to back. I can tell the patient's occlusal is tilted back just a little bit, which means the patient's head is tilted up too high. So I'm going to bring the uh, machine down just a little bit here like that. I'll realign the light here again. So down at the top of the tragus there again, at the tip of the nose, and go ahead and smile again for me, please. And notice as I'm doing this here, you're going to relax your lips, I'm looking at my eyes at the same height as the bite stick. So it's important not to look down from above the patient or look down from underneath here. You need to make sure that your eyes are the same height as the bite stick to see the cusp of the teeth are parallel to the floor going from side to side as well as going from front to back. Once we got everything in position as far as lights are concerned, we then close up the temple rods here, provide additional uh, stability for our image capture here. And to put the capture mode um, for the device itself, you click on ready here on the capture software or click on the plus sign here on the device itself. So for proximity purposes, I'll click on the plus the sign. The system is moving into there. capturing position. Please wait. So at this point, what we want the patient to do then it would be to swallow, 
tongue to stay flat in the patient's mouth. We want them to breathe uh, slowly through the nose and then close their eyes. The system is ready to capture an image. Please close your eyes until image capturing is complete. Okay, we'll go out in the hallway and do our image capture now. In the previous segment, you notice you can click on the ready button either on the device itself or if you want to, you can also click on ready down here as well. By doing that, we then put the device into our capture mode as well. The system is moving into capturing position. Please wait. When the device is rotated into capture position, you would then provide those instructions and then click on the button here to capture our image itself. After providing instructions for the patient, we also then see the green light is on and ready to capture our image. Press down the button with equal pressure the entire time for 18 seconds. When the light is illuminating in orange, that means the device is capturing our image and rotating around our patient. When the orange light turns off or when the green light turns back on again is when you can let go of the hand switch and the image capture is completed. We've captured our image successfully, now we're ready to release our patient out of the device. As a cautionary note, it's good to make sure to instruct the patient or advise the patient not to try and exit out of the device until you come back in the room again, open the temporize, and then you can exit out of the device itself. So we're done, clicking the button here to open the temporize, pull the device so the patient can exit, and we're done capturing our image. Our image capture is completed. We have the view of our transaxial slices of our scan, which technically we can scroll through by left clicking on the scroll bar here along the right hand side to scroll through all those slices. And once we verify the capture of our anatomy, make sure to click on the save here in the bottom right hand corner to save the scan then within the Easy Dent Eye imaging software itself. In summary, you should now be able to perform the following steps to capture your CBCT image. Navigate the Easy Dent Eye software, navigate the Smart Capture software, position our patient for image capture, accessing and capturing our image itself, and then saving the CBCT scan.